The Henke Sass Wolf Double Breast Vaccinator, or DBV, is a modern, innovative and user-friendly device which is easy to operate. The DBV is developed for safe and efficient intramuscular administration of vaccines in layer or breeder type chickens. Before starting to operate, unpack the device and all of its accessories. Check if the materials are complete before first usage. The DBV should be placed on a flat and stable surface. Fix it to the platform using the fixation bar and screw clamp provided. The DBV is operated by electric power. Plug in the DBV and turn the main switch to the position ON. The functions explained in this section will only be possible with detached closure. The touch display will now allow you to hit Start Reference to maintain the self-check. The DBV will check its motor positions. Make sure that the crank is in the correct position to carry out a correct reference run. As soon as the warning sound stops, the reference run is finished. Touch Needle Service on the screen. By pressing the manual button, the syringes will move to the front. Unscrew the needle nut and insert a needle into the nut. Screw the prepared needle nut onto the syringe. Align the needle nut so that the long side of the tip is facing to the outside of the device. Repeat the needle installation on the second syringe. On the display, touch Needle Home to retract the syringes into the machine. Attach a breastplate to the device. You can now check and adjust the needle angle and length. Touch Needle Service on screen. Press the manual button to move the syringes out. Use the adjustment tool to measure the proper settings. Touch Needle Home to retract the syringe for adjustment. To adjust the injection angle and depth, detach the breastplate and loosen the screws of the syringe plate. Move the plate to change the angle and depth. After adjustment, lock the screws hand tight with an Allen key size 5. Reattach a breastplate and touch needle service on screen again before pressing the manual button. Use the adjustment tool again to measure if the adjustments are correct. If the adjustments are not correct, touch needle home and repeat all previous steps. If adjustments are correct, touch Done to return to the setup screen. Take a vaccine bottle and pierce it with a sterile needle. Connect the dripping chamber to the vaccine bottle and place the bottle in the vial holder. Open the flow control to ensure a free liquid flow. Guide the vaccine tubes through the tube guiding clip and the flow sensor and close the sliders. Touch Prime Left Syringe on the screen. Push the manual button to simulate one injection and repeat this step until the syringe is primed. Touch Done to return to the setup screen. When working with both syringes, repeat this action with the Prime Right Syringe function as well. The syringes are fixed doses of 0.5 milliliters per shot. Other volumes are available upon request. After priming, close the lid and make sure that the tubes are not jammed. Please remember that all the following settings and functions only work with a closed cover. The home screen shows basic information like how many syringes are in use, a batch counter and a day counter. It also indicates the correct positioning of a chicken. Hold unlock for 2 seconds to access settings. Day counter indicates the number of vaccinated chickens since the last reset. By pressing the day counter you can reset the counter. Batch counter indicates the number of chickens vaccinated in accordance to the batch size. Please note that this function is switched off when the batch counter is set to zero. By pressing the batch counter you can adjust to the desired number. By pressing the info button you can get detailed information of your device and its status. Needle counter indicates the number of injections given since the last reset. After 1000 injections, the needle counter will request a needle change, which is indicated on the touch display. Confirm the warning by touching OK. 
change the needle and reset the counter to zero to continue operation. Without a reset, the counter will count the next 1000 injections until a warning appears again. To reset the counter, simply touch it on the display. The bottle counter indicates the shots per bottle used. Same here, by touching it, you can reset the counter. Hit back to get to the main screen again. Press the setup button to adjust several alarm and safety functions. Vaccination sound. After each injection, a vaccination sound indicates the proper vaccine's administration. Batch counter sound. Each time the batch counter reaches zero, the device provides a signal accordingly. Air bubble detection. This safety feature detects air inside of the tubes to prevent that air is injected into the breast muscle. Early release warning. Will emit a sound if the chicken is released too early. It is possible to either repeat the injection or ignore the warning. Force sensor. Depending on what type of chickens you are going to vaccinate and which breastplate you use, the force sensor needs to be adjusted. Language. You can choose between various languages. Needle service. Use this function to exchange the needle during operation. This service is only available after first injection. The device can be used with two different sizes of breastplates. A plate for layers, indicated with a L, and one for broiler breeders, indicated with a B on the plate. The breastplate is held in place using magnetic fixations. To attach the plate, align the connections and place the breastplates on the device. To separate the breastplate, hold it on the left and right hand sides and pull it towards you. When having applied all steps explained in the previous sections, the device is ready to use. During operation, the display shows the home screen, which helps to guide perfect positioning for vaccination of the chicken. Position a chicken on a breastplate with its head up. The mold in combination with the device sensors and display will guide you on how to position the chicken properly. Sensor for proper left-right positioning. Sensor for proper breastbone position and needed force and sensor for correct upright position of the chicken. The chicken is positioned correctly when all three sensors turn green. At the same time, an injection is released and its proper administration will be confirmed on the display. After each vaccination session, clean all external parts of the device with mild soap or detergent. The device is designed to be splashed waterproof. Turn the DBV off. Disconnect the device from the electricity supply. Separate the upper closure from the device. Close and disconnect the vaccine supply and remove the needles from the syringes. Wipe all surfaces with a mixture of clean water and a mild soap or detergent to remove cross contaminations. Disinfection is required after each vaccination session when moving the device or its components to different locations and whenever a potential contamination threat must be prevented. Therefore, spray the device thoroughly with a disinfectant. Wipe the device and all of its components with distilled water. You can dry all parts of the DBV with compressed air or allow them to air dry completely. Separate the syringes from the device. Flush the syringe with warm water to wash away all cross-contamination. Disassemble it step by step as shown. Each component should be washed in a solution of mild detergent. Take care to properly clean the seats of the intake and exhaust gasket seals. Rinse all components with warm water. Put all parts of the disassembled syringe in a pot. Fill the pot with water and boil all components in this pot for 20 minutes. After boiling, rinse the syringe with distilled water. 
Dry all parts with compressed air or allow them to air dry completely. Moisture within an assembled syringe may cause corrosion. Replace all of the spare parts such as o-rings and valves with new ones. Apply a drop of oil to the O-rings on the piston rod. <laughs> 